Right now, Detroit police are searching for a killer. Investigators say this video shows a driver deliberately running over Horland Patterson outside of a Coney Island in Detroit. That's where we find Seven Actions reporter Jim Kersner live tonight. So, Jim, what happened here? This happened during the overnight hours at this Coney on 8 Mile or west of Livernois. This is open 24 hours a day. Man was killed right in this parking lot. He lives only a few blocks from here. We talked with his mother, who is 80 years old. No, I'm not going to see my son again. This is LMA Patterson on the scene at 345 this morning. She had gotten word her son had been killed and came right over. Here's surveillance video showing how this went down. Two vehicles are next to each other, people talking. After an argument inside, witnesses say over a woman. One vehicle drives off onto 8 Mile. The pickup backs up and waits several minutes. Fast forward when Horland Patterson walks out of the restaurant. The truck lights are turned off and the driver deliberately runs him over. We stop the video right before impact. Police need to find him and pick him up. And he need to turn himself in. Police say the driver of the pickup was here with a woman, a passenger, in the pickup during the attack. He's described as a black male in his 40s with a big build. Surveillance cameras are also inside the restaurant. When Ella May was here overnight, her son was under a sheet on the ground. She says he was a hard worker, a union roofer, who did big jobs for Ford and the Detroit Medical Center. Medical examiner early this morning asked her, if she could identify her son's remains. Then I asked the medical examiner, can I kiss him? And he said, yes. And I kissed him on his jaw. Sure did. Now she and her family say this is murder plain and simple and they want justice. Detroit police say this pickup was burgundy in color. It's a newer Ford or Chevy. Anyone with information, contact Detroit police or Crime Stoppers. 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Live on the West Side, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News. Hopefully anybody who knows anything will come forward. Jim, thank you.